In 1983, a shitty game based on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was released for the Atari 2600 by Wizard Video Games. It was a tragic failure and tried to aim for the adult market. Its pixelated violence was enough to get it banned from stores or hidden behind the counter, limiting its sales to obscurity. For them, an ideal hit movie-based game would become a nightmare. But had the game been well known, Nobody would have expected, nor would they have wished to see, as much of the mad and macabre doo-doo diarrhea bullshit as they were to see in that sucky-ass game. Close to 25 years later, it would be discovered by one of the most frustrated gaming geeks on the internet, the angry video game nerd. He's gonna take you back to the past. Play some shitty games that suck ass He'd rather have a buffalo Take a diarrhea dump in his ear He'd rather eat the rotten asshole Of a roadkill skunk and down it with beer He's the angriest gamer you ever heard He's the angry Nintendo nerd He's the angry Atari Bunch of shit. I see. Un unfortunately, this is kind of my thing. How much is this one right here? A hundred. A hundred? As in like a hundred dollars? No shit for brains. A hundred centavos. Of course a hundred dollars. We are living in the U.S. of A, ain't we? I'll, I'll take it for fifty. It's a hundred. It's a piece of shit. Look at this. Look at this stock label. I mean, do you know what this is supposed to be? Can you tell me what this is? I have no idea what that is. I can tell you what it looks like. It looks like the shit stain in the bottom of my drawers right now. This is a shit stain on a shitty game. That perfectly just sums it all up. That there is a rare video game, boy. I know. Unfortunately, I'm like, like flies on a piece of shit because I just can't stay away from this stuff. That, ordinarily, that would sell for $300. I'll tell you why, because that is one of the first horror movie video games ever made. Are you going to buy it, or are you just going to look at it? Okay, because if you're going to look at it, you can put it right back down on the fucking table. Nah, that's all right. I'm not doing it. I'll tell you what. Yeah, what? Yeah, it's still $100. Yeah, uh, what the fuck, man? I, you yeah, just it's told 100 me that... and I'll tell you what. Don't walk yeah. away slick. Oh, okay, what? You give me a hundred and fifty. Fifty? What are you talking Let about? Let finish I... the deal here. Keep your drawers on there, shorty. I will throw in this one for free. For F free. R E E E free. Yes. For free. One hundred fifty dollars. Uh -huh. All right. Texas Chainsaw Massacre on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Let's pop this shit fucker in and give it a go. Now, I gotta admit, there's really not much to say. You control Leatherface, the chainsaw-murdering psychopath, and you just go around killing people. That's right, you're the bad guy. Now, I think I understand why this game was so offensive. Sure, the graphics don't look too violent, but just the idea. The goal of the game is to murder innocent girls. Damn! And look at that, you get a thousand points every time you slice the living flesh off somebody. That's it, go Leatherface, cut them bitches up! Get her, get her! Yeah! Now, compared to something like Grand Theft Auto, this doesn't look like much. Except here, the only goal is to slaughter people, whereas in Grand Theft Auto, there's other objectives. Now, as far as Atari goes, there's not much point of complaining about the graphics, but couldn't they have at least made his chainsaw a different color than his body? It just blends in. It's like his arms are like tangled together or he has like a big jagged dick coming out of his chest. Like what the hell, man? The dead girls are another thing that confuses me. What is this? I see two puddles of blood, but what's happened to her body? I mean, I know it's all cut up, but looking at it, it just doesn't make any sense. Is she upside down? 
It really takes a lot of imagination to see this as anything other than a colored mess of pixels. Another thing really screwed up is that the vehicle is almost as big as the house. And the trees are huge. The trunks alone are half as wide as the house and they're further back which means that they're probably even bigger than that. The scale and perspective in this game is all fucked up. Then there's hay and wheelchairs and animal skulls. What happened in this field before you got there? Was there somebody going around in a wheelchair gunning down bulls? The sound effects just suck my ass. It's Atari so you can't expect much, but all you hear is just the farting of the chainsaw and this high-pitched beep. I mean, I've been wondering what the fuck is this beeping sound for, but according to rumor, it's supposed to be the girl screaming. Now, I say rumor because that's really a stretch. Now, what the hell, I'm stuck. God damn it. So while you're running around, you gotta dodge every object you see because if you touch anything, and I mean if you touch anything, if just the edge of your body makes contact with one foreign pixel, you're stuck. I mean, look, I'm just gonna try to go by this thing and look, I can't fucking move. This doesn't even make any sense. What kind of asshole would be immobilized by some random object just lying on the ground? What a shitload of fuck. Sometimes you're chasing a girl and she keeps disappearing and reappearing behind you. So they have like some kind of teleportation skill. That would be a good thing to have if a psycho killer is chasing after you. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they can teleport far. The worst thing about this is that the more you use your chainsaw, the more you use up your fuel. That's right, the fucking thing runs on gas. When you run out of fuel, you're dead. So when the game's over, the screen goes black like a Mortal Kombat fatality and the girl kicks you in the butt. How violent. She kicks you in the rear. Now I can take bodies getting slashed apart with the chainsaw, but a kick in the ass? That's fucking hardcore. Fuck this game. What a piece of shit. It, it, it's a N -N. More like a AVGN. <laughs> I'm your most far out fan, man! Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Whoa, man, so, so is this where, like, where you do all your videos? Yeah. Whoa, would you be able to, like, give me a tour or something? <laughs> yeah, okay, well, here's, here's <coughs> yeah. the games. Yeah. You see, here's the games. Uh, and, uh, here, you know, all the systems oh, yeah. are right here. Oh, and, uh, uh, that's it. Oh, oh, yeah. So the, the tour is over, oh, you can, oh, you can oh, go. Yeah, whoa, that's far out. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, uh, your, your next game review is going to be E.T., right? Uh, no. Oh, uh, no? Well, well, what are you going to do next, huh? I, I don't know. Are you actually going to do a Nintendo 64 game? <laughs> Eventually. Hey, man, do you remember in your chronologically confused video, you, like, totally mentioned that part of that, like, like, John Rambo. Well, you know, they're actually making a new Rambo movie, but I it's know. called John Rambo, man. <laughs> I yeah, was aware really of that. Is. You were totally right on the ball, right on the money, right on my ball. <laughs> hey man, I got a friend named uh, uh, Lester, and he, he like really wants to be in like one of your videos, man. Oh okay. Could, would you like uh, when you do the ET review? Like, could you just like totally like put his like name in the review, like in the middle of it? When you like when you're like, talking about ET, could you like? <laughs> What kind of editing software do you use? Because, you know, I actually would like to become a, an angry nerd reviewer just like you. But, like, I was thinking, like, what would be easier is if I just, like, got a knife, cut you open, and, like, got inside of you and actually became you. <laughs> Get that nerd letter! <laughs> you gotta believe me, there's this guy coming out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down there. I'm really not kidding. There really is somebody out there, little buddy. Be cool. Be calm. Be collected. Hey, what's that over there? Better up, bitch boy. Mean them motherfuckers. Don't tell me what I should do. Cause they be motherfuckers. Oh, oh poor baby. Look, he's waking up. He's waking up. <laughs> oh, you motherfuckers. What the fuck are you doing to me? Come on, man, this is fucking bullshit! <laughs> you are gonna be one fucked up, you <laughs> Get me out of here, man! Come on! Fuck 
you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Man, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up! I guarantee you, it's gonna be better tasting that chicken than what's in store for you next. Yeah. There you go, Mitch. How'd you like to play Texas Chainsaw Massacre? No! Here we go. Fucking face it. Here's the controller. Here's the button. You know how the fucking button works? No, no, no. You push it. You push it with your finger like that. I don't want this shit. And you can play the game. Play the fucking game or burn your fucking eyeballs out. I don't want the fucking game. Play the game. Play the game. Play the game. I don't want the fucking game, man. Play it. So what do you think there, nerd boy? How's that game going for you? Game of fucking Jesus shit! Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a fun playing Texas Chainsaw Mask for Atari 2600? <laughs> well, if he don't like playing video games, why the fuck is he playing video games? <laughs> 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 Like he really don't like it, and it ain't that a shame. Listen to him whimper like a little girl. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh shit! Come on, let the face go get him. Go.